if A and B are both made of wood and are 3 over 8 inch thick, determine the nearest 1 fourth inch, the smallest dimension each of the vertical segment so that it does not fail in shear. The allowable shear stress for the segment is 300 psi. Okay, so here is uh, here is the free body diagram for it. Actually, it's the figure for it. So, so you have to find the uh, minimum thickness of H so that the uh, so that it will not fail the allowable shear stress. Okay. So the shear stress replaces the shear force, and the shear force is perpendicular to the plane. Okay. So, uh. Or you so think about this way. So what is the thickness of this strip? So that it so that when you apply the force on this beam, it does not rip. It does not tear off this uh feet. Okay. So that is the question. So since the normal, so you have this plane. This plane, and normal force is perpendicular to the plane. Shear force is parallel to the plane, so we don't care about the normal force here because it's perpendicular to the uh, the plane, and we are not uh, we are we are not asked to find that, so just ignore it. But just show you to illustrate it. Okay, so for this four, you can break it down into x and y components. Okay, x y component components in the x component that is normal force in the y component that is shear force so you need to find the shear force well, so the uh, allowable shear stress is equal to the shear force divided by the area what is the shear force? the shear force is this one so you know the ratio is 5 over 13 times the force is 800 pounds that is your shear force what is the area? Is the, the area is h times the length so uh, h, h is the, the length of this one times the thickness right so you're given the thickness of 3 8 inch so I have 3 8 inch times h that gives me the area okay so the thickness is from here to here so that 3 8 and the length of that one is um, h which is the unknown Okay, so inside that equal to allowable shear stress, which is 300 pounds per inch squared. So for H, you get 2.735 inch. So this is your answer, but the question also asks you to find, to determine the smallest H to the nearest one fourth inch. What does that mean? So it means that you have nearer to one fourth. That means that you have one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Fourth, fourth, okay. So one fourth is zero four two five, so that is smaller than this one. Ignore it. So one half zero four five, so you cannot take it. Uh, three four zero four seven five, less than that. So four over four is one. Okay, so one is still less than this one. So you need to, so you need two. And for the decimal, uh, what is uh, the nearest number of one fourth that is greater than zero point seven three five. That is three fourths, right? Three fourths is zero point seven five, and right here you have zero point seven three five, or zero four or zero point seven four. So the minimum required h is equal to two four seven three five inch, or two three fourths inch. Okay, so that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.